Okay, good morning, you guys. I am super excited to connect with you guys on this lovely rainy Saturday morning in Vancouver. And we're going to go over the basics of like chakras and essential oils today. Okay, you guys okay with that? Yep. All right. Um, so I've been, um, well, all three of us do energy work. We all work with energy and actually everyone works with energy. We're all energetic beings. So, um, so this is uh, like, I've, I'm, I do Reiki, I do access bars and, and everything is connected. And so this little chakras and essential oils, like presentation I'm going to do with you guys. Well, it's not a presentation, it's a workshop. And um, I really, I'm excited to connect it with you guys because it is, it is the beginning. I have like three or four different um, courses like this. So, so here's the first one. So if you're someone who likes energy, essential oils, Reiki, metaphysical stuff, all kinds of fun things. This is, this is like a nice beginning point for everyone. So, okay. Okay. Oh, now I just need the presentation to go. Okay. So that's me. I had red hair and, um, <clears throat> I kind of miss my red hair, but the problem with the red hair is, is the roots. The roots <laughs> are cringe. So, <laughs> right. So um, I am passionate about sharing the power and simplicity of nature's medicine. We can naturally live in a high vibrational state. And, okay. So a few things to like keep us, like to get us grounded to like just a place to start, like is that we have to start the day off with some self-care. And every day we really need to work on getting appropriate sleep and rest staying hydrated, using non-toxic cleaning and personal care products, take time for yourself, meditation, self-care, Epsom salt baths, provide your body with proper nutrition, move daily, daily reflection and creating awareness. <clears throat> so a lot of things just start with being aware, like being aware of like your body. I'm, I'm reading this new, well, it's not a new book. It's been around for a while, but it's called The Untethered Soul. Has, have either one of you guys read this? I have. Like, Very you know, what? I, I got it a long time ago and the print is really small in the book. And I was like, I don't, I, I can't read this book. It's just too, like, I felt like it was like, I was going to dive into something, but every, what, all of a sudden I saw this book everywhere and I'm like, oh, <laughs> I think I have to read it. So I'm working on it. And it's really interesting. I'm only into like two or three chapters, but it's, I strongly recommend it. Um, okay. So we have seven. Hmm? Uh, I didn't catch what was at the bottom of that underneath self-care. Underneath self-care. Of the next screen. What did you say after that? Oh yes. Nutrition, movement, movement. Daily, daily reflection life. and awareness. Yeah. And you know, like it's, I'm so aware of other people's energy. Yes. And how it affects my energy. So am I. It's, and it's, and it's important that we like, like say we have to be around people we don't really want to be around. We really need to like do things to protect our energy. And like, so I like this. There's a practice of like zipping up your, your energy bubble. Like, so it's like when you go around people, you like zip up your energy from the bottom, like a sleeping bag. Yeah. And like energetically, my energy, you cannot get into my energy field and, and, and I can't get into yours too. Like, so, which is a nice thing about that. If you like energetically do that. So there's seven energy centers. Now, when I teach Reiki, I don't really go into the the chakras very much because it's we have them and that's where we focus on clearing and balancing but I like to use this class as a follow-up to like a Reiki class um so chakras are energy centers in the body the word chakra means wheel and the chakras are linked to our mental physical and emotional attributes it's important to continue to have good flow within each chakra energy force or chi these can be blocked or overactive or underactive now, when you're going over, so when I'm doing a session on someone, I often use a pendulum 
to see where, like if once I've done the session, like what what's open still, what's closed and what's balanced. So you would just ask your pendulum, show me open, show me closed, show me balanced. So we have the crown. Okay, we start at the root. So the root chakra is like legs, feet, like butt. Like it kind of starts at like the, the like your like right above your tailbone sort of thing in there. That's your root chakra. Then the sacrum, that is your like sexual organs, bladder, all that kind of lower intestines. Solar plexus is upper above the belly button. Heart, heart also includes lungs and the circulatory system. Um, well, actually, hold on, just the throat. No, the throat is your, is like your throat, your neck, your sinuses, your ears, it's all that. Third eye, head, eyes, that kind of stuff. Crown is your connection to spirit. We're gonna go into that a little bit more. So feel free to ask me questions. I have this nice, um, I like, I have this one, this pendulum, it actually has all, I have one dedicated specifically for um, doing Reiki. It has all the colors of the, all the crystals on it that represent the, the chakras. So, which you guys can see that. So <laughs> the root chakra is the base of the spine, legs, all that kind of thing. Crystals. So we're going to go with the colors of the crystals as far as like when you're mm -hmm. connecting. So it's, it's not limited to just this. Um, bloodstone, red jasper, ruby, hematite. That's spelt wrong. Essential oils. <laughs> Any tree oil is a good root chakra oil. Mm -hmm. Cedarwood, um, sandalwood, Siberian fir, arbor vitae. Vetiver and patchouli are also very good um, grounding, get you in your body sort of oils. Color associated with it is red and the element is earth. So if you're, say you're doing some energy work on someone and like you feel like their root chakra is out, they also may be experiencing physical things, constipation, mm. lower back sciatica, pain, legs, limbs, like, you know, like even if someone has like an Achilles heel or something like that, or, or like a shin splints, like that would be, that would be included in their root chakra being out. So, and also, um, emotional neglecting self for emotional boundaries. And so if you think about the people who often have low back stuff, hip stuff, all that. Think about them and possibly do they have good boundaries? Are, are they in like a like a emotionally safe relationship? Mm -hmm. If they're not, like like these are the kinds of things I like to consider. Like how can we support that? So there's a lot of things that you can support with that. Like I'm going to take this advanced trauma um class which it should be helpful. Cool. Yeah. So, so this is so like, so, you know, like you're not, I have a new um, Reiki intake form that I'm going to start using. Um, but I, the thing is, is that it's, it's just interesting. Like once you like dive in a little bit, like, Oh, okay. So I don't like, I almost don't want to do the the intake form first, I will do a session on them and then do the intake form because I really like to see what mm. intuitively comes through. I don't want to like, I don't want them to tell me what's going on. I want to tap in intuitively or yeah. get them to fill it out. And then I'll like say, is there anything urgent you need to let me know? Or like, is there anything life threatening that I need to know? And then, yeah, I was thinking of that. Any questions on the root chakra? Okay. So the sacral chakra. So lots of people have this out. Lots and <laughs> lots and lots of this out. So like, so it's below the belly button. Crystals are citrine, orange calcite, fire opal, carnelian, 
carnelian this this crystal is really good for people who need courage mm, for sure yeah i really i find that that's a big one for that so essential oil cinnamon tangerine orange ylang ylang clary sage clary sage also is good for other ones too but like like is also good for the third eye but it's good at balancing hormones which is also the third eye like there's there's like hormones like the endocrine system mm -hmm. so physical is the reproductive system urinary system kidneys color is orange element is water emotional unemotional guarded lack of desire or passion or has been like had a lot of trauma in that area so like and you you know we I would have thought I don't usually touch the sacral chakra when I'm doing Reiki I'll unless I'm on the back like unless they're on their front, then I would put my hands like sort of like on their low back, but I wouldn't touch the front only just because like the lower belly, you're kind of getting close to girlier man parts. You just try to <laughs> just be anyways. Okay. Any questions on that? Good. So, so like on guard actually would be one, like a nice blend. Mm. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So on guard, like internally and like topically would be actually a really good one. I like that for that. Um, okay. Solar plexus is above the belly button. Crystals would be like a yellow kind of crystal, amber, golden topaz, yellow calcite, tiger's eye. Um, and another thing too, when I'm doing a Reiki session or any session on people is that having smaller crystals that you could actually put on each chakra when you're doing the sessions is really, yeah. yeah. I have and a whole then, set that I use just for that. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah. Right. So that's a good idea too. Um, so essential oils would be grapefruit, clove, bergamot, peppermint, and lemongrass. Remember when we did the, um, we did the I am fabulous protocol. We did bergamot and grapefruit over the solar plexus. Yeah. Yeah. So that was good. Um, cool. So the color is yellow. The element is fire. Physical issues would be digestive disorders, diabetes, eczema, acne, food allergies, food allergies, depression and liver issues, Zendocrine. Zendocrine over the liver is also really good um, for all of that kind of thing um, because we also store anger in our liver. Mm. So releasing that is kind of a big <laughs> deal. Yeah, that sounds like a big deal. <laughs> so so you think fucking shit's toxic. <laughs> yes, right? Right, yes. So... <laughs> So using Zendocrine, which is a detox blend over top of the liver is really good. Or also it comes in a soft gel and you can put it in, take it internally. And it's like, my son's kind of like sometimes a little bit angry. So I give him a Zendocrine soft gel all the time. Like, cause I give him a bunch of oils every morning. Um, so emotional would be low self-esteem, victim mentality, attraction to stimulants and overly aggressive. So sometimes when people are angry, you know, they can be overly aggressive. Mm -hmm. um, okay, heart chakra. So this is located in the center of the chest, um, but also includes other things. Uh, yeah. The color is green or pink. Um, the essential oils are lemon, rose chamomile green mandarin and lavender i really like green mandarin for the heart chakra like a lot i don't mm. it really um let let's just talk about green mandarin for a second yeah that's interesting you brought that up because the other day um so i've just been using my oils very intuitively lately mm -hmm. just to like really i don't know just just to really get a feel for them and green mandarin i was like curious about it really curious so I'm glad you're going to talk about it interesting that I felt drawn to this it's also on page 222 and um this is why it's good so green mandarin so I'm reading out of the gifts of the essentials and it's all about unconditional love inner child and receiving mm. 
So the Mandarin originated thousands of years in China, where she was cultivated purely for the enjoyment of the king. Later, she became a gift of honor to high-ranking statesmen. Today, mandarins are enjoyed not just in China, but by people all over the world. There are three essential oils gifted to you by mandarin, depending on the fruit's ripeness. The unripe fruit offers green mandarin, yellow mandarin is a semi-ripe fruit, and red mandarin comes the fully ripened fruit. The three oils are akin to the stages of a woman's life, with green, a young girl, yellow, a woman finding herself, and red, a woman who has reached her full potential. This analogy is a terrific way to understand the magic of these three oils, which all possess a joyous, lighthearted energy, encouraging a buoyant journey through life. Before the spirit can soar, the heart must be freed. Uninhibited by pain or suffering, green mandarin offers solace when the past has not always been kind, left you overly sensitive, or no longer able to let your hair down. Green mandarin is a healer of the heart, supporting you to release the sadness, anger, and resentment of the past. She weaves magic when exploring inner child work. Have you become too serious or wary of the world? The universe delights in showering you with love and fun. Green Mandarin helps you feel safe again, bringing you a sense, a new sense of serenity and calm. So my gift to you is a playful heart. Green Mandarin is beautiful to bring in the type of unconditional love you see with children. Kids are not born racist or sexist or discriminating in any form. They pick it up at an early age from their environment. Green Mandarin takes you back to that open heart. She illuminates your innate joy as you greet everyone with equal compassion and care. When you lead with a loving heart, the rest of your body, mind, and spirit follows. Green Mandarin will help you breathe in all the gifts of life and digest the troubles that come your way. Oh, no. The rain is really... Wow. Can you hear the rain? Mm -hmm. okay. She helps calm the stress mind and eases any addiction to busyness. From a calmer place, Green Mandarin asks you if it is mindless busyness or mindful inspired action and energy moving through you to create the life of your dreams. If it is directionless, let Green Mandarin center you again in your heart and redirect your sails towards your true heart song. When working with Green Mandarin, remember the words, ask and you shall receive. Because when you ask the universe for what you need, it answers. You will notice changes. There will be differenti differentiation points in your life People will start walking towards you, whoever you desire to call in. Green Mandarin will sing them to you and sing you to them. When you need to bring change in your life, align with Green Mandarin, create empowered statements and visualizations that reflect the life you choose. Dream your life in detail and breathe that into your grateful heart, letting it magnetize your dream to you. So when your heart chakra is balanced, love flows freely through your day. One way to rebalance the heart chakra is with the sound yam. Simply chant this over and over with the exhalation. Elongate the sounds and feel the vibration from your belly moving up into your heart. Inhale green mandarin by placing a drop on your palms, rubbing together. Do you guys have green mandarin? Uh, yeah, it, uh, upstairs I have it, yeah. <clears throat> okay, well, if you have any oil right now next to you, I would like you to grab it, put it in your hand, whatever you feel. If it's there's something handy. The wind, it, the rain is like blowing sideways. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna we can breathe breathe in our oil. Mm. Um, okay, so to enhance this practice, imagine a green sphere of light in your favorite shade of green forming in the center of your chest. And the affirmation is, I listen to the whisperings of my heart. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I listen oh, yeah. to the whisperings of my heart. So, oh, so you can, you can actually also aromatically dress with these oils. So, there's three little things here, blends that you can do. So there's the Joyous Heart, which is green mandarin, bergamot, and ylang ylang. Let's say hello to your inner child today. Green mandarin has you rising in joy as ylang ylang and bergamot bring playfulness and delight. Diffuse this melody to tune into expansive and uplifting frequencies. Your inner child will feel nourished and acknowledged as you bring play and fun to your day. 
aromatically dressed with this gleeful and jovial, jovial blend focusing specifically on the heart chakra and chest area. So you can always like, you can use like unscented lotion or you can use fractionated coconut oil to, and you can put the oils in with that to aromatically dress. So aromatically dress, it can be like all over your whole entire body or you can just do it in a specific area or whatever like speaks to you. <laughs> So on this day, take your inner child on a date outdoors, be joyous and uninhibited in nature, playing with the sprites and the fairies. Who knows? You may be blessed to see them. Cute. What uh, book is this? Oh, this is, this is, it's called The Gifts of the Essential Oils. Oh, yes. Beautiful. Uh, you had that at your open house. Yes. So... <clears throat> um, I took a photo of it. <laughs> you can get it at oillife.com. CA. Okay. Or Oil Life Canada. Anyways, Google Oil Life Canada. Or if you want to order from the States, you can just do oillife.com and you can get, they have all kinds of fun things. So wholly and completely is, is another blend, which is green mandarin, basil, frankincense, and ylang ylang. Darling, you are much too whole to be half loved. Combine these oils with carrier oil and massage your entire body affirming. I love myself wholly and completely. Lean into the strength of basil and frankincense while green mandarin and ylang ylang wrap you in love. Oh, I love that. Okay. Um, and then there's another one that's called balanced, which is green. I've done this one. This is funny because I did this. Um, I just did this the other day and I did a uh, like an Instagram post about it. So green mandarin, clary sage, and patchouli. Feeling a little shaky right now? This is the perfect trio to restore balance and a sense of wholeness. Patchouli weaves her magic in re reconnecting you with the present, married with Clary Sage, allowing insights to rise to the fore, opening you to what is magical and mystical. And Green Mandarin invites you to bring that magic to your daily <laughs> interactions. Diffuse or aromatically dress with these three oils when you're feeling off kilter. <clears throat> so that, actually, I just really had those out. That was, it's a good one. It's a good combo. I really like that one. Alrighty, so the heart chakra, as I digress, physical disorders of the heart, lungs, breast, arm, circulation, asthma, immune system. Um, and I just want to bring to the forefront that when people are using synthetic fragrances, it, that irritates the lungs and like mm -hmm. can bring on asthma attacks. So we want to avoid synthetic fragrances. Emotional, shy, feelings of loneliness, overly empathetic, and jealous. Too much empathy is not, it can be a not a good thing for people. We need to have like a balanced level of empathy because then it turns into sympathy. And then we don't want to run around feeling bad for everybody all the time. <laughs> that drains <laughs> up our energy. Okay, so the throat chakra is located between the collarbones. Um, the, it's blue. Crystals are lapis lazuli, turquoise, sodalite, rainbow, fluorite. Essential oils. Um, so lots of the essential oils like go together. Like you, they can work for multiple chakras. I like balance and frankincense for every chakra. <laughs> so if you if you had <clears throat> like if you had limited funds, which we all maybe maybe we all have unlimited, but sometimes we might have limited. And um, if you had to have two oils in your kit, I would say frankincense and balance would be the two for sure, because frankincense is good for like, it's, it is like your desert island oil. It works on so many things. So essential oils, bergamot, eucalyptus, easy air, blue tansy, and tea tree, <clears throat> the color blue, and the element is sound and the ethers. So physical, nasal area, teeth and gums, jaw, pain, throat, voice, or neck, emotional fear of expression, weak voice, excessive talking, stuttering, and gossiping. Uh, an oil that I really, like a blend that's really good is actually spearmint and lavender. I'm going to add those in here because spearmint is the oil of, um, no, lavender is the oil of communication. And I can't remember, spearmint's the oil of some kind of speech. I don't know where my emotions book is, but spearmint and lavender actually, oh, confident speech. 
So the two together is really good if you have to do any public speaking or like any of those kinds of things, those two oils diffused or over your throat chakra is really beneficial. And then we, any questions on the throat chakra? Okay. What does it say? It says lack of imagination. And then it says para paranoid. This is paranoid. We're, on third eye. we're on third eye here. Oh, okay. What did it say on the throat chakra for emotional? Okay. Fear of Fear expression, expression. Weak voice, excessive talking, stuttering, or gossiping. Yeah. Okay. So the third eye chakra is lo located the center between the eyebrows. Crystals are amethyst, blue quartz, purple fluorite. <clears throat> Clary sage, the oils are clary sage, laurel, marjoram, cypress, patchouli, and frankincense. I'd also add in um, um, yarrow palm. Yarrow palm is a good one for the third eye. And the color is indigo, and the element is light. And the physical issues that would come with the third eye chakra being like not, not balanced would be headaches, migraines, seizures, neurological disorders, and vision problems or eye disorders, like any kind of thing going on with the eyes. Emotional would be lack of imagination, paranoid, nightmares, unable to focus. So often I find people who have like big, like migraines, like, they they're actually like can be quite intuitive um but it blocks them like it's like it's like a fear of their intuition wow you just you just took the words right out of my mouth <laughs> oh, oh yes yeah it's like so they're 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 scared of it so they their body creates something so they it blocks it yeah and my experience of I have a few, a couple people in my life that, um, uh, that are not healthy, like really, really, really not healthy. And I see this mm. in them, like full out. It's like, it's almost like a denial, right? Yes. They're so, they're so in this physical world and seeing everything black and white as it is. And as it shows up from their perception of reality that mm -hmm. like that I can see their third eye is totally blocked and they both get severe migraines mm -hmm. and are suffering from neurological disorders and um, are unable to focus. And yeah, yeah. A lot of this, I see it yeah, makes me right. sad. Right. Yes. <clears throat> it's a real thing. Okay. So crown yeah. chakra is on like, well, okay. So that whole thing, like if we are, if we're energetic beings in a physical body, so, and we're denying what we are, then we're going to have a lot of physical stuff going on. Like a lot. Yes. yes. So yeah, that, that's a real thing. And it's interesting that it takes people however long, 50 years, 20 years, 80 years before they actually like can acknowledge that and just be aware of it. Like awareness is huge. Um, so crown chakra is top of the head, right up here, maybe even a little above it. Um, crystals, diamond, moonstone, sapphire, quartz. Um, also the any clear quartz is going to be good for helping balance all chakras. So like if we're like on a budget, yeah. we're, we can use clear quartz and we should always have a selenite because the selenite mm. will clear all your because once you use crystals on someone you need to clear them before you use them on the next person so location okay essential oils frankincense jasmine neroli and adaptive um also melissa melissa would be Ooh. would be is because it's the oil of light and also roman chamomile would also be one to like I think because Roman chamomile is like the oil of like, like spirituality, like it's really beautiful. And so an adaptive 
um, I recommend you guys try putting a drop of adaptive on your head for a week and like just okay. changes your energy. And the color is violet and white and the element is thought. Physically, physically, if you're out, you're going to have autoimmune disorders. Like this is like, you just do not want to be in your body. Like, and you're going to make it happen something that because autoimmune stuff it's like your body's attacking itself right mm -hmm. and many times with autoimmune things and most people won't like to admit this especially if they have an autoimmune issue um that when you actually cl clear the emotional stuff the autoimmune stuff can be alleviated so and, and sometimes it takes people a really long time to really tap into what that, that emo the emotional root is like, because if we've been made wrong for being since we were a kid, you're gonna, it, it's like, you have to completely deprogram yourself. Yeah. You got to peel back the layers of the onion and find out what the, the real like negative debilitating thought pattern was that you chose mm -hmm. based on those experiences and then like shift it yeah you, you've got to replace it with something more powerful yes and, and this is this is so in alignment with louise hayes work right 100 mm -hmm. percent, totally yeah i love it so emotional would be sense of separation or isolation learning difficulties and confused. Also the, the physical would also be um, like major psych psychiatric illness, like mm. um, bipolar disorder, manic, like, which is ma ma manic depressive um, bipolar disorder, type one and type two. So one is like with more depression and one is with more mania. And then there's uh, schizophrenia and um, psychosis. Those things would be, also considered on that spectrum and is that it no there's more slides oh no that's it that's all mm -hmm. okay so <clears throat> so i have so that so like if we're working with people energetically that's going to be a really that's a good I hope that does that make sense to like, mm -hmm. like connect all the dots? Like, so like, so if you were like working with someone, you might make them a roller at the end and like give that to them. And like, that's for whatever chakras out, all these kinds of things. So like, just tap into your intuition when you're working with people to like make recommendations and various different other things. And I really hate these lines, but um, okay, hold on. So thank you. I'm going to stop the recording. Thank you guys so much for uh, joining me today. And um, I am going to post, put this up on YouTube. So, cause it's that thing, it's very helpful for people to have like a resource like this. Cause you're like, Ooh, I'm doing energy work. And what, like, how can I use these oils and crystals and different things to like help support people? And I really, you know, like <clears throat> the oils are just plants. They're plants they're herbs, like we're just here to like support people with different things and applying oils topically can actually release energetic, um, energetics that we've hold, held on to inside ourselves. So, um, thank you for watching and, um, you know, you can follow me on Instagram, <laughs> Kelly underscore Melanson. And, um, if you'd like to find out more stuff about this kind of stuff. Okay. Thanks.